Growing up in a large Italian family, food has always been a big part of their lives. These twintastico brothers from Manchester, UK, put the sizzle back in cooking, and they're here with us today. Please welcome John and Tony Alberti. <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that you're, you're they're twins, they're tall, they're beautiful looking, these Thank two, you. but Thank I want to know how the, how did it start with cooking? Well, we've been born in England, we come from an Italian family from um, Tuscany, uh, near Luca, it's the most beautiful part in Italy. Yeah, and that's like, you know, you learn just cooking, like watching your nonna growing up, and that's just yeah. being Italian, it's all about family and food, and that's what our debut cookbook is about, Tintastico. Yes. You know, yes. It takes you on a journey through a traditional Italian meal from yeah. start to finish, and we this love being creative in the kitchen, so we like put lots of like Tintastico twists on classic yeah. recipes as that's well. That's lots okay. about us in our family, about our Italian heritage, and most importantly, lots of pictures of us, so it's a, an amazing <laughs> book. Um, we have lots of pictures of you, let's yeah, just sort of show it. some of those pictures right now. So when it comes to family, um, we have pictures of you, with your, you know, your, oh, there's you two. Yeah. You two are blonde. The same, yeah, That's blonde. That's so cute. Yeah, blonde, uh, this yeah, is yeah. your family here. Yes, yes. In Who are we seeing in, the, in these pictures? Is that Nonna Maria and our granddad, yes. yes. Oh, beautiful. Big, yes, Italian, big family. Italian family, yeah. yeah. So our pretty, our uh, senior director who's downstairs, uh, Candy Signorini, um, he, she said that could be any Italian family. She goes, that, that could yeah, be my yeah, family. Yes. Exactly. Right? Exactly. It's interchangeable. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, you see them all, all the generations together um, and everyone celebrating over food. I'm about any culture that celebrates with yes. food. I believe in that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I believe yeah, in that. So let's talk about the first recipes you're going to be doing with us right now. What are we making? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be making our gorgeous gnocchi. And gnocchi is great for the family to make, you know, and getting the kids involved. Because we always believe that getting the kids involved in cooking and eating yes. together and cooking together as a yeah. family. So, yeah, we're going to make our gorgeous gnocchi first off. Yeah, Beautiful. it's all about family and food. We want to, like, cook together, eat together at the table. And that's what we're trying to bring across in our book. Because that's what we've grown up like. And yeah. that's our traditional things like that. So, okay. first off, we're going to start off with the sauce. Yeah, so with the sauce, you want to start off with the onions. Oh, this is already done. You want to cook the onions for a couple of minutes. Then you want to add garlic. Then you want to add the... Um, Italian, yeah, you can add the Italian sausage after yes. that. And, and you, want add the the, leaves that. you want to add the fennel and the bay leaves first. You want to cook that off. We're using Italian sausage. Then nice. you want to cook them off. Then you want to add the red wine and you want to let that reduce so it evaporates. So all the, um, the flavour stays in on the alcohol leaves. Right. And then you want to cook that off. Yeah, and then so you leave that to simmer for around, once you put the tomato puree and the tomato paste inside, just leave that to simmer for around 45 minutes so it thickens the sauce up then. Got yes. it. Okay, and that's what's happening here. Yes, yes. that's what's happening. They did all the work and you yes, didn't even done. see it. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. It's we always say with the wine as well, if it's not good enough to drink, it's not good enough to go in our food. Yeah. So yes. always Italian that. wine yes. as well. Exactly. Okay, so make so, sure yeah. it's a good wine. Yes, yeah. yeah. so with the gnocchi, so first off, it's really easy to make this and great fun as well. So all you need is to boil your potatoes until they're tender. Yeah. Then you put them through a rice. Okay, so all you need is flour and then salt then. So once you've cooled down your potatoes, you're just adding your flour. Mm-hmm. And then you just bring that together and mix it together with it's your so hands. It's so simple, it's three ingredients just to make the gnocchi. Yeah, a lot of people put egg in their gnocchi as well, but we find it, without the egg, it makes it a lot lighter and softer and fluffier, the gnocchi. Okay. Then. And it's going to bind together fine yeah. without yeah, the yeah, egg? Yeah, so it binds together all there. Okay. And then, so we've got some already made here. So what you want to do then is you cut a piece off and then you just roll them into long sausages. Okay? Right. So this is great for the kids to get involved and play with it and like yes. mess around with it. And that's how they learn to cook, you know, from an early age. And that's how we learn as well. Make so, it fun, yeah, right? Exactly. You've got to make it fun to yeah. and, like, include everyone. And then when you obviously got them cut off, you want to get your salted water boiling and then you want to add the gnocchi to the water. Yeah. So if you add them in, and you always know, it should be boiling, but you always know when the gnocchi's done is when it rises to the top, so the gnocchi tells you when it's actually done. Yeah, so it'll start bobbing to the top, and once it's ready there, it's at the top, then it's ready to, you know, put into the sauce then. So once okay, you've done that... Okay, well that's that, an easy way to tell then. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So once you've cut your gnocchi, you yep. add that to the sauce, and then you mix it all together, and then you add lots of Parmesan cheese on top, and basil to finish. Oh, that yes. looks so good. And yeah. what are we talking about in terms of time? Because a lot of people think, okay, if it's going to have a lot of flavour, this is an all-day event. Yeah. Not necessarily. Not really, no, because we all say to like the key to Italian food is simplicity, and yeah. you shouldn't have to be cooking for hours and hours. Um, and even if you're doing like a long sauce like this or even a ragu, like a meat sauce, you know, you can just leave it to cook for two or three hours, go off and romance your loved one, have an yeah. espresso, you know, do whatever you want then. I like that you summer. said go off and romance your loved one. Is exactly. that what you do while your gnocchi is it's boiling? It's all about love and food that's and that's what it is. Yeah. That's the thing, exactly. being Italian, it's go all about romance. family and food, yeah. romancing yeah. the women, that's what, that's what it's all about. You're I cooking love it. in love. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, I, li I like that whole philosophy. It is. That's okay, so that's that dish right there. That's the gnocchi, cityline.tv for the recipe. What else do you want to make? We're making yeah. our seductive saltimbocca. <gasps> it's seductive. Yes. Yeah. 
And our saltimbocca, it means um, jumps in the mouth in Italian, and that's oh. exactly what this dish does. That's yeah. what this is? Yes, yes. it is. So traditionally, this it's done beautiful. with veal, but we're using chicken today. Or you can use pork if you want to. Yeah. Okay. So really, you want to get the, cut the chicken in half. Yep. Here we get you, my nonna's favourite, the rolling pin. Yeah. And then you just want to, you want to just bash it down so you get Can it quite I thin. Can I do the yeah. honour of doing pounding. a little bashing? bashing? Now, is it supposed to be violent, yeah, or violent. we just want to? That's what you okay. forget. Okay. Get that yeah. take all this out. is what I used to Probably wake up to violent, every Saturday yeah. morning, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, my mother was always chopping some big hunk yeah, of meat exactly. in the kitchen. It's like, okay, it's Saturday. Yeah. yeah. But that's the way you've got to do You've got to bash it down so it's quite thin. And then you want to season it with salt and pepper. Yeah. If we can get this open. If I haven't glued it shut there. Yes. This is what seasons both sides of salt and pepper. Nice. And then all we're adding on top is our prosciutto. Oh, no, lovely. So you just add your prosciutto on top and then okay. a sage leaf. Good. Okay. And then you can put a toothpick for it if you want just to hold it together. And then you just put it into hot oil, cook it for two, to, two minutes on each side yeah. and flip yes. it over. And then that should be done. So you take that out and then you make the sauce for it as well. So with yeah. the sauce, we're doing, you just melt some butter down. Yes, and then you want to add the masala wine, yeah. which is key. Because mm. this is a beautiful. So it has to be a certain kind of wine? Yeah, yes. masala wine. You can use Italian white wine, but masala wine is a lot sweeter. It's a sweet yeah. dessert wine. So you add that in and you just reduce it down. And, and once you've done that, um, once the chicken's cooked, you can yeah. reduce that down. And then you just take the chicken out and then pour that over the top. You can serve that with vegetables or your potatoes, whatever you fancy yes. alongside. And all these recipes are in our daily cookbook, the traditional recipes, but we obviously do a few twists on different ones. Yeah. Things like that. So we just, it's all about Italian food. Lovely. Yeah. Now, I know um, one of you mentioned that you are in a relationship. Which one's in a relationship? Yeah, this one. Um, I'm single. <laughs> but you're single and yes. you're. And the number's you're, going up on screen in a minute. You're ready to mingle. I am yeah. ready to mingle. Now, I mingle a lot anywhere, but I'm, good, I'm ready to mingle in Toronto. Yeah, you're a very friendly guy. So he was paying me all sorts <laughs> all of compliments. Good, all no, that's good, that's, that's good. That's good. You're a very friendly yeah. guy. I'm very flirtatious. Yes. Yeah, you're a flirty guy, yes. but I like that. Yeah. I'm married, happily married, but yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, good to flirt. But you, so you were giving me all these lovely compliments. You're like, you can't understand a word I'm saying, can you? I'm like, no, I can. No, no. Thank you for Maybe the compliments. I want to know what you're looking for in um, in a woman since you're here. Really? Can I pick one the audience? I audience. don't know if she might be here. What are you she looking for personality-wise? I want to be fun, like fun-loving, except my personality because I'm quite funny and out there. And um, yeah. just like, a, obviously, it's got to be beautiful. But along to like, when I was younger, it was all about um, being beautiful, things like that. But it's all about personality now as well. Yeah. That's a big right. thing. You have to have that chemistry in that spark. Oh, passion and hot chemistry. Passion and hot chemistry. Does she um, have to know how to cook, or will you no, handle that? No, no, I'll be that? cooking. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs>